don't have a webcam but want to add your smartphone or tablet as a second camera angle, then you'll want to stick around. What's up friends, I'm DJ Avionics and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use your smartphone or your tablet as a webcam in OBS Studio as an NDI source. I'll be showing you this on my 2018 MacBook Pro but it's all the same on PC. Later on in the video I'll be showing you how to fix OBS from crashing when trying to create an NDI source on Mac. First of all, NDI stands for Network Device Interface. NDI allows multiple video systems to identify and communicate with one another over an IP address. NDI can transmit and receive many different streams of high quality video and audio in real time. First of all, obviously you'll need OBS Studio and you can download it at obsproject.com but I will also have a link down below in the description. Second, you will need to download the NDI plugin for OBS Studio. The link to that is down in the description as well. Next, you will need to download an NDI camera app for your smartphone. If you have an Android device, I recommend IP Webcam. And if you have an iPhone or iPad, I recommend NDI HX Camera. Open up the app on your device. Next, open OBS Studio on your computer. Click on the plus button in Sources and you will now see NDI Source available. Click on the drop down arrow for source name and you should now see your device listed. Go ahead and select it. Now go back on your smart device and tap the NDI button on the iPhone or the iPad or the record button on Android and it is now showing up in OBS Studio. Transform the display to your liking and you're good to go. Now you can use your smartphone or tablet as a webcam. You can add more if you have more devices. Now for me, initially when I tried to set this all up, OBS Studio would crash every time I would try to make an NDI source. If you're running into the same issue, follow along and this will all help you out. After doing some research, the issue was that the library file and the installer file for the NDI plugin was giving it some trouble. So therefore we will need to install the library file manually. The download link to that is down in the description. After you've downloaded it, you will need to replace the old library file and you can find it by opening Finder. In the search field, type in libndi.4.dylib. Right click on the file and select show in and closing folder. Delete the file, then copy the downloaded library file into this folder. Restart your Mac and everything should now be working. So that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. If my video helped you at all, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. Leave any comments or questions down below and please consider subscribing so you can see more videos that might be of help to you. Alright guys, I'm DJ Avionics. See you next time.